what really got me into real estate uh, was a friend of mine when I graduated from Stony Brook gave me this book. And this book changed my life forever. This book is called Rich Dad Poor Dad. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you have read it. But when I got my hands on it, I literally felt like they wrote it for me. It was the first book, and you know, you guys are, are my inner circle, so you know, I used to say that I read cover to cover, but you know your boy didn't read it cover to cover. I listened to it because I don't read. So I listened to that book cover to cover, and this was before you had the iPhone where you could listen to audible.com. This is before you can get it on like a podcast. So what I used to do is I had to get books from the uh, blind and dyslexic organization. So they gave me like this big yellow tape recorder. They wanted to like really embarrass me because they, they gave you this huge yellow tape recorder. But I kept it in the front seat of my car and I was listening to it. So after reading that book, and all the book talks about is real estate, entrepreneurship, and passive income. I said, this is it, this is me. So I ran out, top of the real estate market, and I bought a two family house, okay? This is right when I started the construction thing, uh, which I ran for nine years, but I bought a two family house. At that time, my wife was just my girlfriend, so she was living upstairs. And there was no free rides with me, so she was giving me $500 a month. And then we rented out the entire downstairs for two grand. And my mortgage payment was $2,100. So I'm doing the numbers one night, and I'm living there making $400 a month. And I'm like, this is it. This is what I'm gonna do in my life. I'm gonna start buying rental houses.